Hi everyone, this is Master Science Handman 1 here, and today I'm doing a review of the new Mega Constructs Call of Duty set, the Urban Assault Copter. So first before I start out with this review, just hit that like button, it takes one second, just get that, out of the, get that out of the way. Also click subscribe if you already know my channel, or even if you just want to see more videos just like this. I also do customs, if that matters to you. But also I have a Discord server now. So if you add me, I'm MSGT Sandman One, just uh, spelled the exact same as my channel, and it's number nine four eighteen. So if you add me on Discord, I'll send you a link to my server, and you can talk with me there. There's a full kind of questions, suggestions. There's all little like parts for uh, different things that you want to do on my Discord. But now let's get into the review. So starting out with the. Uh, urban Assault Copter itself. This is based on the Eurocopter, which was featured in Call of Duty Ghosts, which is mainly what this set is based on, being that there is Merrick um, from Call of Duty Ghosts included in this set. We'll see him later in the figures. But looking at this um, vehicle, um, when I was first when I first bought this set, I thought that it would be a similar size to the Little Bird. But it really isn't, actually. So if I can get in here. Um, the, the Eurocopter, I find, it kind of looks like a little bird just kind of stretched out. Like the body is kind of longer, the nose is kind of has more of a point. But yeah. So at first I was wondering what the $20 price gap between this and the little bird when it originally came out was about. But now that I have the set, I realize that it is quite a lot bigger and a much more expansive build. And extensive. Um, there are a lot of cool little design features, especially up in the rotor. There are a few little cool designs that I found are neat when I was building it. Also, the rocket pod on this side, you can move that back to get a figure in there. And you can just move that back. On this side, I think this is supposed to be like fuel that you can drop off. It kind of goes out of the way as well, but it doesn't go as nicely. You can see that it does go away, but because of this piece, it's kind of bent when you do that. So mainly, if you're going to do that, just put it like that. But then, looking at the rotor, it spins nicely. Um, up here, you also have engine detail. You can just put up that flap, and you can see some little greebling and stuff in there. Lifting off the canopy, that just comes off, it's a specialized part with a windshield piece on the inside of it. Uh, you have two seats in here, um, each of them has a little like, control stick. You can pose up a figure, this is the um, pilot that came with the set, but you can get him to hold onto the joystick, and he just kind of sits in there like that. Um, then also taking him out now. Actually the joystick came off as I was trying to put him in there. But there, just reattaching that. You can see there is some detail on this control panel piece. Sorry, there goes the um, kind of tail piece. Um, it's actually not as delicate as, as it seems from me breaking everything off. It's mainly just that I'm operating on a pretty small table. So I'm kind of trying to move everything around and kind of hitting stuff. But see, this is the control panel piece, kind of that just sits right there. It has three printed pieces, one, two, and the tile. Um, it's a pretty good print. It kind of looks like it glows, being that it's um, printed onto this kind of like smoky, translucent color. And that just goes in like that and flips forward. Then also looking at the back here, we have the enclosed tail rotor, that's a kind of really specific design of the Eurocopter. And Megablox did it really well, they used two specialized pieces. This is all one, and the bottom half is all one. But it looks pretty good, and it was definitely a sacrifice that they needed to make to get the like perfect look. And I think that they really pulled it off. Um, then looking at the back, you can actually open up right here the whole back opens up and you can take out the care package that's included 
as the Eurocopter is more of like a transport, so the whole back does open up in real life as well. So that's a good design, and again, specialized pieces, but it really pulls the whole build together and it has the like perfect shaping. But that is pretty much it for the Eurocopter, and now we can look at the figure. So here are the three figures that are included in the set. First here we have Merrick, we have just a helicopter pilot, and the description for the set says that this guy is a SEAL. Um, starting off with Merrick, he comes with this new Scar L mold. Um, I have it kind of set up like a one point sling around the backpack, and there. But so yeah, he has this new Scarl mold, it has a aimpoint red dot sight, the specialized stock, and the special barrel piece. Um, it also, this new barrel piece actually has a full slot down here, so you can attach in the flashlight that's included. Um, the little red dot sight um, does kind of slide off pretty easily, and it sits pretty high. So if I ever use this, I'll definitely be cutting off some parts to make it sit lower. But then looking at Merrick himself, as you saw, he comes with this kind of dark green backpack. He also has a Shemog, and he has a new headpiece. Um, so it has the bandana that goes across, he has kind of the full skull on it, and it has kind of the full like ear protection thing on one ear. But then yeah, there's this Shemog, it's kind of marbled with some black. And there goes the head. But um, he also has a black plate carrier, some black pants with um, painted boots. Um, then looking at the pilot here, the cool thing about him is he actually has some of the new designs for the Mega Constructs figures. Um, actually, his helmet can come off. Now, of course, you can't just keep him bald when you take his helmet off as there's all this but you could interchange this between other big helmets that will be able to come off in the future of Megablox making more figures. So you can just put that back on and there. Also, um, with these tall boots now, these can actually be disassembled. Um, so you can have the upper part and the actual boot itself. So that's pretty cool, that'll make it a lot easier for me painting as I can just paint the boot and paint the leg separately. But yeah, so that's a pretty cool new design. It's also very helpful for, I guess, people that don't want to paint, as they can just change out the boot colors with the leg colors. Now, that's actually only with the tall boots. Um, like, Merrick's boots do not come off. So that's kind of unfortunate, but I guess, yeah. Um, he also has a... Um, this is just one of the Megablox Desert Eagle molds. It's been in production since the start of Mega Constructs Call of Duty and Mega Box for that matter. But it has one of the new suppressors for this year. It's kind of more rectangular shaped, I guess. But yeah. And then we can go and look at the last figure in this set. Um, the cool thing about him is now they've made a dual drum. I think this is called a C Mag. But it has two drums and this just slides off the same as any other drum it does. But this is just attached to an AK-47. So, nothing very new about that other than the C-Mag. But then here, this um, soldier, he has some cool legs. I think those were actually used in some of the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 sets. But they look pretty good as just kind of heavily armored, kind of like shin pad kind of type of things for modern soldiers. And I think that comes together pretty well. He has a claymore on his back, he has a black plate carrier. And this um, helmet and goggles and bandana kind of mold always looks pretty good. And they did some pretty good paint apps on that with the bandana and some extra detailing on the helmet. So that turned out pretty well. He also has the heavily armored arms or forearm pieces and those look pretty good as well. So now that we're done with the figures, we will just go and look at these um, extra pieces that are included in the set. I just threw them in the care package because that's what Megabox always kind of recommends you do with them. But there's a shovel, there's a little canteen right here, an extra silver mag, some binoculars, a little radio, and a flashlight. And that's pretty much it. That comes in the set that I didn't already put onto the figures. But now as I just load, that, load those back in, 
we can go and finish up this review. And now wrapping up the review of the Mega Constructs Urban Assault Copter. It's a pretty steep price at $50 Canadian on Amazon, but it's so worth it. Um, at first I was kind of wondering if this would be a very good set for the price range as I didn't realize that it would be this big but it's a pretty good size it's completely accurate to the real life scale and it just looks really good with this kind of like camo, uh, camo color scheme but yeah also the figures are amazing there's a new um, weapon mold which is totally worth it and to get the Merrick head if you have any interest in Call of Duty Ghosts it's um, definitely worth getting this set but yeah, so as I mentioned at the start of this review, um, add me as a friend on Discord. I'll have my name and my kind of like account number in the description. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.